But it goes off where you play with it during the performance. The big guy you saw at the door, who sits at the back over yonder way, will come down, sit on you until you give him five pounds. Uh, not a pleasant experience. Happened to somebody last night, and we had to do a bit of medical emergency call and call the doctor for it. But, well, we got the five blooper and the assembly of bits, so don't worry. That covers that anyway, so please turn them off. Thank you very much. Um, I'll introduce myself now. I'm, I'm the producer, Dylan Delaney. Uh, I've got an amazing cast and crew. There's no words for it. This is uh, our fourth night, and it's been very well received. But um, there is a special person in the audience. Uh, I think her name is Amy McDermott. Is that you? <laughs> Amy here is the daughter of uh, one of our founders. Back in the 70s, her dad was up here doing what I'm doing today. We've been going for eons, this company. She sat next to a very important guy, the man who built the set, and his lovely wife, Sandra. Thank you for coming. I want to dedicate this to Ron and Christine, this performance. Ron and Christine McDermott. This one's for you. Santiago Day. <laughs> Well, 
for someone I see so little, you're, you're such a good friend, but I think you ought to know that, well, well, Mary doesn't like me very much. No. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah. Frankly, she finds me boring. Well, why would you think that then? Oh, because I, I am, I know it. <laughs> there I've sat behind that little grey little proofreader's desk for the last 27 years now. <laughs> I've been wondering if a science fiction magazine needs a proofreader. I mean, does anybody care if there's one K or two in? No, I'm boring, all right. I mean, I've often wondered, how does one acquire a personality? I mean, I mean, what must it be like to be able to, to tell a funny story, to be able to arouse anger, <laughs> laughter, respect, to be thought wise? What must it be like, bro? But oh, you was a good officer, though. <laughs> Not much of a trick in peace time. Can't always have walls, mate. But I oh, know, anyway, you'd have faced enemy fire with the best of them if you'd have had to. Yeah, well, that's something I shall always wonder. Yeah, well, don't you wonder. Here, don't you wonder about Mary. Well, I know we're looking like what she is, and she is. She could have had her chances, but now she hasn't, has she, eh? Oh, she did. So you caught a flirt with this some fella then, making eyes at some bloke. Where was it? The shower. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so anyway, wait a minute. Just one mistake doesn't mean the end of a marriage, you know. I mean one small dalliance. So that was for the best of marriages. Not more than once. Or more than twice. Well, how many times?
not a she, it's a place. Oh, but here. Oh, I bought you something. Oh! Hey, a bit difficult to get some of these, you know. Food. That's right. Oh, you know I love food. Oh, yeah. Well. Now, now where'd you get this one here from? Well, I was given that by an Aborigine in Canada. <gasps> yeah. yeah. Ain't that something? Yeah, and where do you suppose that one's from? Well, I don't know. The mysterious East. <gasps> Well, she and Ella do the whole family now. Oh, but Ben, did you 
so, where are you going to live? Oh, I don't know, you know, Frog, it don't matter. If I have to leave this old house, it won't be long before Meeks and me's together again. Hey, now, bet. No, Frog, I've been adding things up lately. And you know, the one thing, and the only thing that I regret, don't go telling nobody this. No, bet. Well, Sam, I never got to see much of the world like you have. I mean, you reckon that's sinful of me to wish that? No. You know, Frog, if before you come along, I mean, I never even know anybody outside of Tillman. And then all of your talk about them Arabs and Greeks is in such lands, you know? I lie awake at night wondering what they'd be like, them faunas, how they dress and how they act and how they are. And well, you know, it's too late now. Some of you stop getting old and, well, you never get around to doing some things, I guess. You might be disappointed, but anyway. Oh, well, but I, I still wonder. Now, you take my word for it. Yeah, your average foreigner, a bit boring, really. <laughs> <laughs> Quite boring, actually. I mean, when you look at it, their kind of dress is about like what we do, and their looks about like what we do. Yeah, and then, of course, it's useless to speak to him because he doesn't know what he is. Uh, what, what is it? Nothing, uh, nothing. Uh, what's the matter? Uh, just thinking. Uh, yes? Um, well, what? Uh, oh, look, listen, I've something to tell you, Beth. Uh-huh. Well, oh, there, there's this bloke, you see. Peter? I yeah, I brought him along with me. He's going to be staying here for the next three days. I want you to give him the royal treatment, the best of everything, right? Well, uh, yes. The other thing is, Beth, and, uh, oh, I'm sure I've thought this. Um, okay. he mustn't be spoken to. He mustn't be when? Ever. He mustn't be spoken to? No. Why not? Oh, nothing, no purpose. Something wrong with him? No purpose, no, it's funny. He just doesn't speak English very well. No? No, but actually not a word. Oh. Yeah, no, he'll, he'll, be, he'll be fine. Um, but um, I'll tell you this. If somebody was looking to me for foreigner... Wrong! That's right. Wrong, you mean this fellow that you have here is a... Foreigner, he's long back. Oh, where's he from? Where? Oh, what country? Oh, um, I can't say back. I've got my orders, you see. My tongue is tied. Oh, 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 he's down here on some special kind of government work now, is he? Can't say yes, and I can't say no, then. Oh, uh, well, what's his name? Charlie. Well, yeah, I would try to sort of to Charlie or something like that. I just call him Charlie. He ain't one of them Congress now, is he? No, no, no. He's got a stack of credit cards. This would be his wallet. Oh, oh, good. Yeah, yeah, no, he'll be fine. Uh, well, but none of us can talk to him? No, well, you see, it's not just saying good morning to him. He goes about hanging his head for days because it shames him, you see. He can't respond to what people say to him. But he feels guilty. You don't want that now, do you? Oh, no, now, now, poor man. Yeah, no, it'll be okay. You know, regular meals, spot a tea now and again. Oh, Froggy, I'll be a foreigner. Oh, I don't get too excited. Don't go expecting to jump out of the jungle oh, boy. But still. Just a bloke, you know. Oh. Oh, dear. No, it's going to be fine. Here, I suppose I ought to have a word with him before I head off to the range. Frog. You know how to talk is kind of talk? The old, the old phrase, you know, when my hat is brown, where's the gents? It's been oh. Oh. Yeah, that sort of thing. Here, you could have made a spot of tea, could you? Well, oh, oh, certainly. Laws, laws,
said you didn't want to see Ruth. Well, this way you won't be, will you? There you'll be waiting on hand and foot. Not a word required, not a word spoken there. Yeah, be royal treatment. Yeah, what do you have to do? Nothing. You just be given everything you want. But, but, what? Yeah, look, you've seen Betty. She already thinks you're picturesque. Probably no. What? Well, I can't. Oh, what? Well, pretend. You don't have to. You just sit there and don't do nothing. <laughs> well, 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 I can talk. I, 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 I was panicking. All right, then. No problem. You could be the one to tell her. T tell what? That we lied. We? Raised the ropes to dash them to the ground. Dear, I'm glad I won't have to be here. I'll be gone. I don't have to see her eyes filling with tears and her watching and hacking at the wrist with that makeup. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, I can't do this. this is, I simply can't. Oh, well, stupid idea, I suppose. Oh, well, here, yeah, but then whenever Betty comes down, just tell her it was all a big joke. She'll understand. Oh, ta ta. Uh, uh, well, well, uh, we're all right then. You can, you'll be all right. Yeah, thanks. All right, see you. Yeah. There's somebody out there. Who's that? Ha <laughs> 
No, ma'am. Hey, look, there's some place where we can go talk. You want to talk, you stay right here. There's no visitors allowed upstairs, and that's the rule. And don't you go trying to frighten old Charlie off here. Don't worry, we don't bother Charlie now. Well, we not then, and uh, lock up for me, will you, David? I will, thank you. And uh, <clears throat> don't go believe in everything you hear. Oh, don't worry about it, I won't. Not Owen. Not yet. Good night, Charlie! <laughs>
Eric. <laughs> Poor boy. Oh, nobody knows. He just needs a lot of patience, that's all. He's been getting a bit worse, though, lately, ever since his daddy died and all. Sad thing. Well, he ain't getting none of his daddy's money now, is he? Ellen? No, not likely. You mean he might? Well, surely. He's supposed to get half the family money. What? <laughs> that is, <laughs> if Captain should find that he's intelligent enough. <laughs> That's right. But that don't seem too likely now, does it? No, not likely. House just full of dummies, ain't it? <laughs> what, that's fine, you have any trouble? No. Well, that's just feel good now. Could you take them out to Catherine? Let her know I'll be up there directly. All right. <laughs> All right, Ellen. Thank you very much. That's too kind of you. <laughs> Intelligent enough. $500,000 or so, he'd probably spend it on bubblegum or something. Well, now, I need to go and get on upstairs, Owen. Thanks for the news. Now, I'll take it from here. Now, I will, preacher. I will. Don't worry. You better. Oh, now, Owen, you got to have faith. If the good Lord wants Tillman County to have a good Christian hunting club, well, then Tillman County shall have one. Amen. speak to Staff Sergeant Lesseur, please. <laughs> Charlie Baker. No, it's not a code. It's my name. <laughs>
No, I mean about me not supposed to be speaking English. Uh, well, I decided to after all. I, I overheard something and I, it seemed best, but uh, uh, but they won't leave me alone, Frog. No, that, that woman, she yells at me all day. Yeah, and the others, they look at me like I'm a plot, plot of plant. Uh, that screaming girl, poor idiot brother. Yeah, uh, yeah, and uh, one thoroughly nasty chap that said some of the most dreadful things about my mother. <laughs> oh, I don't know, something to the effect that he didn't think there'd be enough of her left to spread on the toast. <laughs> no, no, of course I shan't tell mother. Uh, and, and that minister, that preacher, there's something very odd going on with him. Uh, what is a Christian hunt club anyway? No, I don't know. Yeah, I'll, I'll hold. Where's Daddy at? Thank you. Ah, yeah. No, well, that was a boy. I don't think he knows about me yet. Uh, <coughs> I can't help thinking that he's being manipulated or something. I don't know. I gleefully answered. Oh, that's right.
that back up there. Now, if Charlie wants to put a little glass on his head, that's okay. Because evidently that's what they do in this country. They all put a little glass on their head when they're having breakfast. But, but don't let me catch you doing it, because it makes you look like you're trying to make fun of them. Yes, ma'am. Is that what it was? Did you try to be funny? No, ma'am. All right, then, ma'am. All right. It's a knot. Don't tell me you've never seen a knot. Use it to, to cut things, like, like ham, or bacon, or butter. You can use it with butter to spread it on. You don't need it. No, put it down. Right back. No, 
Stay. Ellen, where are you going? Oh, Miss Hicks, I'd love to talk, but I'm just real busy right now. Ha, 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 ha.
talking to you for you. You, you really don't understand anything I'm saying, do you? Well, that's why, I guess. I mean, talking to Betty or Eller, you know, there's always that chance that eventually you might be understood. <laughs> Can't have that, really. And David, I mean, he's always off somewhere. Instead of getting to know me, I mean, but I, he's, did you ever know any, what's your name, Charlie? Charlie, yeah. Charlie, did you ever know anyone who was just so good that they just made you feel vile most of the time? And he is, yeah, I, I mean, he's so patient, and he, he does for people. And, and, and you get with this person a while, and you realize that you've just spent your whole life being selfish and silly, doing dumb things. I, I, I was one of these cuties just, just a year ago. Yeah, dressing up, flouncing around, hopping all over the country in my daddy's jet plane, sipping at drinks in revolving restaurants. Just dumb, stupid, useless, mindless bullshit. And I miss it. <laughs> I, I don't think that I was cut out to be a good person. You know? Some people are just meant to be a waste of food. And I'm one of them. J. 
jar. Daddy. Jar. Jar. Uh -huh. What was that? Nail. Nail. It's good. Charge? <laughs> These good little babies. No, 
no, no, put them back. I want to put them back in the box. Betty oh. goes over this house with a toothbrush. I don't want her coming across no dynamite. That stuff can kill you. That's the idea, Ribbon. Putting his head on his head and all. Putting his little what on his head? 
No, Charlie, he ain't born at all. He's simply, uh, simply uh, remarkable. <laughs> re re remarkable, yes. Oh, oh, I thought he might be a little bit shy around there, Mike, but uh, of course I know in his own country, hey, Charlie, quite the raconteur he is, yeah. The what? Oh, you know, jokes, amusing stories, that kind of thing. Oh, oh, oh please tell us one. They're yeah, quite the entertainer in his own country. Oh, come on, go and ask him. Well, oh, no, tell I didn't mean story. that. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Tell us a story. Uh, oh, now, now, listen up, everybody. Charlie is going to tell us one of his stories. This is the chance of a lifetime. <laughs> Charlie, um, um, Bobo Domo Fonostos. Blasby, Blasby. Brook Snoop Snip. Bees, knees, nips, snip. Thank <laughs> you. 
Enjoy it while you got it, right, Charles? No. Last it, last it. Means, uh, ain't this nice? Well, not that far wrong there, was I, anyway? There you go. Well, to be honest, I'd like to stay, but I'm going to go mad, so, uh, I'm off. Oh! Well, well, Charlie, uh, come over in Jumbo. Come over in Jumbo? And sleep with a peasant? Hey, Mom, now, now, look, that's bacon! Bacon? Well, look at that, it's about time. What's he doing with that van? Selling vegetables, probably. What? Sometimes people sell vegetables from the back of those. Well, if you think that's a good idea, then maybe you're right. Yeah. Well, he's not going to see me like this again. Y'all keep him out there till I get that van. All right, Al, come on, Al. Nice to meet you, Froggy. Oh, like right. <clears throat> Oh, you? Oh, I'm sorry, Bugger. Something came over me. <laughs> yeah, you made me look like a rock bleeding idiot then. Yeah, I did, didn't I? Yeah. I really did. <laughs> not much to it, either. There you are. Yeah, it's not really much. Uh, gives me an idea. Well, I've got an idea. Come here. Oh, uh, uh, you. Fro, fro, wait, please. I, I've got to tell you what a great adventure I've been having. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I'm finally acquiring a personality. Yeah, people just hand to hand me piece by piece as they walk in the room. You just did it now. Suddenly I'm uh, the raconteur and uh, I'm uh, Catherine's confessor and, and Ellen's prize pupil and uh, Betty's pet skunk. Her pet skunk? Blas me, blas me, Gorski, Gorski, Gorski's blood. Yeah. 
your bones when the bees come down. Hey, hey, somebody get in here. Get in here right now. What is it, Owen? This fella's talking crazy. Who is? He is talking weird. Well, he doesn't speak English, remember? We done gone and learned some. Well, what he said? I don't know, weird things. Some, some kind of zombie talk. Like what? Like bees come down. Bees? Yeah, bees come down and looking through your bones and one, two, three and all. <laughs> that doesn't sound too bad. Well, not to you, and don't didn't say it to you. You should have seen him. His eyes got all funny, and there was some rays coming out of him. I'm telling you, I seen it. This guy is a hoodoo man if there ever was one. Oh, now, Owen, just simmer down. All right, he seems all right to me. Well, he ain't. Well, and now you know Charlie is nice. He wouldn't go saying anything about bees. I heard it. He said, bees come down. He said it, and I heard him, bees come down. <laughs> now, even if he did, still. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> Please calm down. Please calm down. That's what he said, Owen. Not bees calm down. That sounds like pretty good advice to me, too. Oh, I knew it was something like that. He said, bees calm down. Oh, now, Owen, oh, bees come down, that just don't make any sense. I know that. That's why I was bringing it to your attention. <laughs> All right, Owen. Oh, you don't talk to me like that. All right, Owen. Oh, you talk to me like I'm some half-wit kid or something. All right. Well, look who it is, the young Reverend David Marshall Lee, as I live and Now, honey, I've been gone for two days. Oh, oh and, he, and he brought back a dirty little green band, too. Well, that's right. You know that company down in Atlanta that burnt down? Where well, they were so thankful for me and all for helping clean up? They let me in their Volkswagen van for my ministry. Isn't that something? Oh, very nice. Well, yes, it's a much-needed gift, I'll tell you that. Right out of the ashes. God be praised. Well, and Ellen says you're going to sell some vegetables out of it. <laughs> That's Eric for you. Hi. Hey, bro. Now, Ellen here has been teaching Charlie my English. Well, that's good. You continue with that? Yeah. Well, that's real fine. You, you, teaching him various words and such, were you? Yeah. Well, good. That's fine. Now, now, now. He, Ellen, teach you? <laughs> Indubitably, yes. Ooh. <laughs> Ellard. <laughs> uh, he did. Uh, he has taught me many new words, considering it has only been two days. Ellard, that is amazing. Uh, yes, and tomorrow we study prepositional phrases. Yes. <laughs> well, goodbye. Yeah. I can't believe this. David, can you believe this? Uh, no, it is a bit hard to believe, isn't it? You two. First that courthouse business, what? and now this? What? Oh, Charlie's been taking Ellard downtown to watch him build the new courthouse, you know? And they've got Ellard learning how to lay bricks. What? Yeah, I guess he's getting compliments from the workers and everything. All these achievements. I mean, yes. I, I think we ought to have a party or something. Surprise party, maybe. Owen? Well, you know what? I know what. Ellard, do you know what I'm going to do? Uh-huh. By God, I'm going to give you your inheritance. What? Catherine? I am. Daddy told me if I ever thought you were smart enough to handle it, I was to give you half the family money, $512,000. Golly! <laughs> Stand there, why don't you? <laughs> Honey, that's just wonderful of you. And I'll tell you what, you know what? Right now we're married, we can have a big celebration and write on the check together. All right. Good. Oh, we've got Charlie to thank, really. Uh, yes, 
I, I'd like to find out a little bit more about you, Charlie. Tell me. Uh, go. What? Go. It means yes. Oh, I see. Go. And blip means now. Blip. Go. <laughs> well, yes. Now, now, Charlie, tell me. Where is it that you're from? Bro? Yes, get your home. What do you call your home? Ah, ah, Charlie House. <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, I mean, I mean, there. where do you live? Where, where do you live? Where do you live? At. Ah, where do I live? At. <laughs> I show you. Uh, do you have gloves? Glove? Yes, a uh, glove of the world. Uh, oh, no, I don't think so. We may have an atlas or something, Betty. Oh, uh, oh, I got a map right here, but it's uh, it's only of the state of Georgia. Well, <laughs> oh, no, it's good, huh? It'll do. <laughs> okay, uh, let me see. Uh, ah, okay. Uh, please hold it. Oh, boy. Oh, come on, no one. Hold the map, all right? All right. Okay, uh, so uh, you live uh, here, yes, and I live uh, <laughs> uh, uh, go back a little bit, uh, back more, go. 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 Here. Oh. Oh. At my home. Well, it looks like a nice place to live. <laughs> I'm back in, Alan. What the hell was I doing out there? I don't know. We was over here looking at Charlie's home. Something about Charlie, but apparently that's going to be a bit difficult. Hello, Charlie. What language do you speak? What language do you speak? Do I speak? Yes. Ah, uh, yes. Hello. No, no, no. What? What do you have? What name do you have for your tongue? <laughs> Oh, yes, what you call your tongue? Ah, floppy. <laughs> floppy? Yes, the floppy the tongue. <laughs> and what name do you have for your tongue? Floppy? Ah, oh, the same as mine, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Remarkable. Uh, David, why don't you let Ellen help with you? All right. He, he wants to know about your kind of talk. Ah, oh, my kind of talk? Uh, yeah. Go, please, yes. Yeah. Ah, yes, uh, I need you. What? I need you. Do you? No. Hello? No, that's not what I mean now. Am I kind of talk bad? What? Oh, uh, uh, no, oh. Charlie! <laughs> David, for one sake! What? You hurt his feelings. Hurt his feelings? Yes. What about me? What about my feelings? David! I mean it. Just try to get along with him is all. Well, I am trying to get along. I asked about himself, didn't I? Well, what did I find out? Well, his tongue is named Poppy. He lives in the air. David! What's a little bit frustrating, get me that? No, it isn't. You have to be patient. Well, what? You're telling me how to be patient? David. Who the hell are you? <laughs> Tell me I that. I have never seen you like this. Maybe it's just a phase. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You, you, you want me to learn some new words from this man? Well, yes. Look at him. He really just wants to give us something. Can't you see that? Yes. I really want to give it to you. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> I would like to teach everybody now. Oh. Yes, right. Why don't you teach us some new words or something? Hey, now don't that just cut it. You do anything she says, I reckon, huh? I reckon if she asks for you. Oh, and we can deal with you this tomorrow. We ain't gonna deal with nothing tomorrow. We ain't gonna discuss nothing. Because once I tell some of my friends who's up here shining up to follow us, ain't gonna be nothing to say. Oh, now, oh, 
Nolan, if you think about it, you might realize what I'm trying to do here. I can see why. Who cares, David? Let him go. No, now, honey, now, Owen is one of God's children, too, and I think you'll benefit from this lesson just as much as any of us. Owen, I think you should stay and join me in this. I ain't staying here talking no damn who do talk. Owen, you must learn to be meek. Otherwise, you will never inherit this earth. Well, that 
that was unfortunate. That that was really unfortunate. Unfortunate. The clan. Is that what he said? The clan? Yes, that's what he said. Is Owen in the clan? Oh, I don't know, honey. How am I supposed to know? Well, I I'm going after him. Well, don't go after him. Why don't we just... Will, will you stop? Will you just stop? Now, listen. Now, Owen, well, I think he's deeply disturbed. I've been trying to work with the man. David, don't you get it? He's threatening us. I'm going to call the police. No. What? You've done enough. What? Don't call the police, all right? What? Let me deal with this. Let me try to salvage this, please. Just don't call the police. Don't call the police. He doesn't know who he's dealing with. Those clan wars? Oh, they ain't gonna come up here, honey. Betty, they will. If it's really the clan, all Owen has to tell them is that Charlie's up here. That's all the excuse they need for about 40 of them to get liquored up and grab their guns and come whooping up here with their damn sheets over their heads. Sheets? Over heads? That's what they do, yeah. They, they put sheets over their heads and then... Charlie, you have no idea what we're talking about at all, do you? No. Well, you didn't know what you were getting us into with that language lesson of yours. I? Well, you couldn't help it. You were just being yourself. No. But we've got, oh, why did I say we wouldn't call the police? Who else? <coughs> Who do people call? The, the, the army? The army? Or the Marines? And uh, Froggy. Froggy. Yeah. Oh, Froggy. I doubt that he's back yet, but, but who else? Uh, their neighbors? Or, or old friends? Well, I'm trying to think of who all ain't dead. Yeah. Well, now, there's Fred Mob and Dowdle. We could call them. Maybe. Oh, old man Reed. Well, maybe we should just call the police. Oh, Ezra Perky Pop. Ezra Perky Pop. Now, he'd come up. But then again, he's missing both arms. Let's just call the police. <laughs> Answering machine. Yeah, this is Catherine Sims up at Betty's. Listen, Froggy, we might be in trouble. There might be some men with guns on their way up here, and I don't think they like foreigners too well. If you could just bring anyone, bring anything you can, and if you run into a mean-looking fella driving a green van, kick, that's Owen Musser, kick a hole in his tire or something, will you? We're calling the cops, so there's probably nothing to... Hello? We... Hello? We've been cut off. Oh, oh uh, let, let me see. Eller, travel us. Uh, hello? Betty, they cut off our electricity. What? They cut the electricity off uh, down the road or somewhere. Now that scares me. Well, that does sound right bad, don't it? Yeah, they're not just rolling now. It's, it's really getting dark. Well, they better not come up here tan away at this house or trying to scare off Charlie. Well, David's down there, I know, but, but if we should have to defend ourselves, well, what have we got? Well, I don't know. I mean, Meeks was around with his guns in here, said he had enough of them after the war. Eller, help us think. Me? I just gave you half a million dollars for being smart. You're the highest paid mine we've got. Now think of something. <laughs> what about that? Charlie, now we, I plumb forgot we have you here. Charlie, now you've been all over the world. You all those mysterious ways about, you know, you tell us what to do. Oh, oh yeah, Charlie will think of something. Uh -huh. Charlie, any kind of idea you have at all, even a stupid one at this point. Uh, a stupid idea? Uh, a stupid Well, it doesn't have to be stupid. Uh, oh, now he's got an idea right now. I, I can always tell. Charlie, if you do, if you have any kind of idea, please tell us. Oh. Yeah. 
down there with Owen right now telling jokes or praying together. Well, maybe not that. But I think there's nothing to worry about anymore. So don't worry. No, Owen. Worry is the uncle of despair. Oh, is, is, is that what y'all say in your country? Yes. Tell me something about your country, Charlie. Anything. Tell me what it's like. Oh, it's, it's difficult. Uh, we're so long ago. Only two days, Charlie, that's all. Uh, but, uh, uh, are you married or anything? Uh, yes. Oh, what's your name? Uh, Mavra. Mavra. Uh, oh, that's, that's pretty. Yes, uh, she is ill. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you love her a lot? Yes. And, and what do you all do? Do you, do you take walks together? Uh, yes. Uh, sometimes we take walks apart. Um, <laughs> and do you have lots of friends? Uh, yes. Uh, she has 23 friends. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell have you signed a company? No, not yet. Well, you know, I, I did everything Charlie told me to do. I took out all the light bulbs upstairs. So even if the electricity comes back on, it's going to be dark as pitch up there. Well, I'm hoping the danger's past. Well, don't tell Ellie that, because he wants to try out Charlie's plan. Uh, now, did we want that front door? Oh, I'll get it. Good me. Uh, I am still a little jumpy, I guess. <laughs> I got that thing rigged up again. You want us to try it once more? No, no, why, why don't we just wait in here a while, okay? All right. I think we got it anyhow. All right. Now, now, just think. If they did make it up here, what is the worst? What What is the absolute worst that could happen? They could kill us. <laughs> <laughs> and then, then they, they could cut us up into little pieces and hang us up from some trees. <laughs> You're thinking too much, Ellard. Well, that's what I get paid for. <laughs> No. 
come to this house? You know I am. Are you prepared this night to stand before the holy tribunal of the invisible empire? I've never done you no harm, Owen. Are you prepared this night, woman, to stand before the holy tribunal of the invisible empire? I'm giving you your opportunity to answer. Is this here the fallen man you've been harboring up here? Are you aware of the crimes against our people for which you stand liable and accused? Speak! Charlie <laughs> ain't done nothing wrong and you know it! All right, fellas. See you next. This is the one we want. Come on now. Let's get in here. Hey, yeah. <clears throat> this here is the invisible empire standing before you. Charlie, you take a good look, because we're going to take you off somewhere and treat you real nice. Yes, ma'am, we're going to take him off your hands and take real good care of him, because he's going to be our hostage. Now, where's the others at? That good old and her half-lit brother. Hey, boys. Get up there, check out the house, will you? Bring everybody else back down here. Come on, man, I want to see who's here. This is the clan, y'all. You don't fool with the clan. That's right, when them others get down here, we're going to put them on the bus up north. And if they should come back, they're going to get to see what Charlie's innards look like. We're the clan. You don't fool around with us for nothing. And I want you to take a good look around there, little lady. Because this here property is going to be abandoned tomorrow. That's right. It's going to be free for the taking. It's going to be the organization for us. The thing that we need. I'm telling you now, this here is what we're going to call GHQ for white America. Everything we need is right out there in that van. Just take heaven! I'm sorry. Well, hey, Perry, was you hiding all this up there? Charlie! Where's your kid brother at? He's, they got him, Charlie. They got both of us. They're, they're trying to help Ellen right now. I think, oh, it was so dark. I, I'm sorry, Betty. I'm sorry. Don't blame yourself, honey. You tried. Now we all tried. All right, now. Come on, monkey boy. Get up here on this table and do some monkey dancing. <laughs> Come down! The bees come down! Ah! The bees come down! Ah! 
plan. Carried them all up. You, you, you couldn't have. We did it. Wasn't that hard. You, that's it, man. That's the end. David, what? It, it was in my hands. It was all, all about to happen. What? I just needed the money. The money? But what are you talking about? A new nation, Captain. A Christian, white nation. With these hands, I was bringing out, Captain. You and I, Captain, we were going to be at the forefront of the most powerful Christian force on this earth. The Klan? Yes, the Klan. Yes, the Invisible Empire. Well, don't look at me like that. We're going to clean up this nation. Why clean up? People like him. David! Foreigners, Jews, David, stop Catholics. Stop it! Stop it! What are you talking about? Nobody is lying to him. Nobody is lying to anybody. I will open your eyes. The money. They're taking Money? You said the money. What? My money. That's why you wanted to marry me. No. You were going to finance the clan with my money. Captain, I love you. Then why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell me about this, this thing you were doing? Well, I, I, I just wanted it to be a surprise. Get out of here, David. All right. But I want you to remember this day when some foreigner comes and takes some bread out of your... Oh, look, Trevor, are you sorry? It's not your van, I'm sorry. What? My, my van? My van? They, they left my van. I can start over all over with my van as long as I have that van. My van! The, what he blew up? What happened to my van? It's bloody boring cars, mate. You can't trust them. Oh!
It'll only be a minute if you don't mind. Oh, okay. Well, let's just all go over the kitchen, have some nice tea or something. Come on. Um, listen, I kind of didn't know whether this was the right moment to mention this, but well, like everything, perhaps it is after all. You see, uh, <coughs> this came for you this morning. Um, so you, you see, if you'd like to stay a while longer, it won't make much difference now, will it? Uh, Merdiuszki Bolicznie, Kalu Mavra, Kalu. Charlie? Speak from Charlie. I speak. One, two, three, hello. <laughs> what is it, Charlie? He's had some bad news, I'm afraid. Pain the throat. Charlie, what's wrong? What is it? Can you tell me? Can you whisper it to me? In English, Charlie. <laughs> oh, Charlie. We both had our losses today, haven't we? Oh, well, I'll totally make them stay a while longer if you like. I can fix it up by no problem. How about that, Charlie? You want to stay here with us? Huh? Oh, listen, I ought to tell you, I'm a bit worried about him, you know. He's not quite what he seems. I, I, I think I know. You do? Come on, baby, we'll take care of you. I, I stay? That's right, you stay. And you know what? I bet if we work real hard, pretty soon you won't be talking with any accent at all anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and that may take a long time. <laughs> we have all the time in the world. Thank you.